how did your experience in the U.S. as a legislative fellow impact your work in Pakistan, specifically in women's empowerment? Yeah, you know, after coming back from uh, the U.S., I joined Pakistan alumni, uh, Pakistan U.S. alumni network. Uh, this network is basically formed by the fellows of the of all U.S. grantee grantee programs that include. Legislative Fellowship Program, IVLP, UGRADE, YES, Fulbright, and all other programs. So I, I joined uh, this, this network in Pakistan, and then uh, soon after I joined, uh, there was an election going on in the, in the network, and the, uh, the network um, elected me as General Secretary of this network. So I performed my duties uh, as a General Secretary for this network for two years. And during this uh, uh, the, this two year time, uh, I lead the uh, alumni activities in Pakistan. And the core objective of of PON is to engage state alumni in the various initiatives and development of people to people relationship between Pakistan and the United States. Uh, I have been the part of uh, alumni action plans. Uh, manage their activities, small grants for them, and the replication of the learning that they have experienced in the U.S. and how how they they're going to implement and replicate uh, that learning in Pakistan. Uh, so I have been performing a, a different kind of other you know uh, duties and activities like uh, proposal writing for the U.S. Embassy and for the Pakistan U.S. Alumni Network. And I successfully implemented and, and won a, a pro, uh, two projects on youth entrepreneurship. And uh, the project was basically to cover the university fellows with the, to university students uh, um, on uh, entrepreneurship so that they can uh, start their own small businesses in Pakistan instead of going to market and putting pressure for jobs. Uh, so I, I led that project on behalf of uh, a Park US alumni network, and then uh, I engage other alumni in in in, the, in different activities uh, and encourage them to be the part of this network and build networking among among uh, alumni and integrate uh, them in each other works. Perfect. But then. Uh, uh, I also introduced Quan in different national and international forums and was representing uh, Park US Alumni Network as a general secretary in various kind of... It, it was a hectic two year, uh, you know, working experience with, uh, with Park US Alumni Network. Uh, as uh, the LFP is basically based on the legislation process, the governance process and the political process of the US. And uh, all the activities all around all these these three things. So I learned a lot about the election process, election campaign. I was the part of uh, uh, of a, of a primary election in Ohio, and uh, the, I learned about how the campaign uh, among the voters and how they pre present their agendas and and all these kind of you know uh, political engagement processes. So based on that, uh, I would like to share one one of my uh, you can say a great achievement in Pakistan uh, that in 2011 uh, the State Department announced uh, alumni engagement innovation fund in Washington D.C. and they asked their alumni all around the world to apply for for innovative projects for their countries. So I also uh, submitted a project on women political empowerment. And uh, um, af after the initial scrutiny, uh, you know, 137 projects were shortlisted by the State Department. And overall, the number of projects were uh, 708 projects. So uh, then the State Department opened that uh, 137 projects to all of our, to the alumni of the world and to the U.S. Embassy staff to call their work for the excellent projects. So my project got fourth position in the world and first position in India out of 708 projects. 
so it was a big achievement for me and uh, i had a team of uh, 13 uh, alumni with me very senior alumni uh, based in pakistan and was the part of uh, uh, different programs uh, in us i started working on on um, uh, women political empowerment project and uh, basically the aim and the purpose of the program was to empower women at three levels including politicians so that they can run uh, for general elections in the coming election like uh, you know 2013 uh, and educate uh, um, and mobilize female students as first time voters so that they can participate in the election and the female who are out of universities and the illiterate are the, the rural and the uh, and, and the household women to create awareness among them so that they can also exercise their right to vote the project team trained we trained in fact 114 women politicians on election campaign development and during these elections over 20 female out of 114 over 20 female run for general election in 2013 in pakistan using the techniques they learned during their trainings uh, through this program Uh, which is a great success you know and out of them nine trained women nine trained uh, politicians female politicians are now member of the parliament in pakistan in provincial and national assembly who were trained from uh, our project who were trained by me and by my team the us embassy awarded me a distinguished state alumni award and the deputy uh, uh, ambassador in pakistan he gave me award uh, as distinguished state alumni and uh, acknowledge and appreciate my contributions in building relations between pakistan uh, and the us and people to people contact and to for, for this um, pakistan us alumni network